Hi guys, Mike from Monarchy Blog here. I'm bringing you a video of dual booting on the M950. Apologies for my voice, I've been sick this week and my nose hasn't really cleared up yet, so I'm sounding a bit nasally. Hopefully, you guys can understand me. So, obviously, turn the uh, device on like you normally would. We get a little warning, don't worry about that. It's actually quite nice that we have dual booting on the M9 and M950 now. Something that I did like about the M900. So you'll get this little screen here. Um, automatically it'll boot to the alternate OS within 15 seconds unless you use the buttons. So volume up goes to Harmison, which I'll show you. And volume down boots to the alternate. So again you get given the warning message pretty much just says you've modified the software um, there's if the warranty if there was a warranty it's now void um, Nokia takes no responsibility if you destroy your device or if it hurts someone pretty much <coughs> don't really know how it can hurt someone I don't imagine that now because you've made it dual boot that the device is gonna spontaneously combust and blow up but you never know Nokia has to cover themselves somehow. So this isn't on a tripod either guys. It's just a little bit easier filming it with my hand. I'm trying to keep it as still as possible, but now it's probably not the best thing. So there you go. There's regular Mega Hamilton. So all its swipey goodness. So again, power down the device. <coughs> Boot it up. Sorry about this guys. Same error message as expected. <coughs> Same screen. As you guys can see there, I'll hopefully get it to autofocus. Don't know if you guys could really read that there. Just says that um, automatically it'll boot to the alternate OS. Like I said before, it tells you volume up for Harmonton, volume down for alternate. I have installed Plasma Active, that works well. Currently I've got Nemo installed, and eventually when NitDroid comes up, I'll install that as well, and you use the exact same interface to boot to that. So there you have it, that's Nemo, the N950, um, it's actually not bad of a OS, it's a little bit not, I wouldn't say cheap, but say not fully polished yet, but it does have a few interesting concepts, such as the swipe, so a bit like Harmonton, whereas you swipe from any edge, <coughs> Sorry about that. Swipe from any edge and it closes the uh, screen and gives you the multitasking view. Except it doesn't really have a home screen. Sort of the home screen is the multitasking view. Um, you've got your app launcher and so on. But other than that, it's pretty simple. So yeah, just 
power it down. Actually, the lock screen. The lock screen of Nemo is pretty cool. You just simply drag the padlock into the square. That's unlocked. It's pretty simple. You just you can even just flick it sometimes. That's how quick and easy it is. Um, but other than that, that is dual booting on the N950. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.